All right, um, I'm Jason Browse. I'm the owner of Browse Blades. We're here at SHOT Show 2014, and uh, we got a whole new line of stuff that I wanted to show you guys. Um, here we got the uh, Bionic. This was shown uh, last year at Blade Show, and it was unnamed then, but now it's called the Bionic. It has uh, aluminum scales, D2 tool steel, stainless steel liners, and it runs on a ball bearing flipping system. <laughs> We're uh, making these in all black, blue with satin, silver with satin, um, black with satin, and then we have orange, red, green. We try to do like a whole you know, array of different colors, so that's for the bionics. Um, here we got a little uh, multi-tool that I put together right before the show. Um, it has a uh, bottle opener, it has a seatbelt cutter, uh, it has a little bolt pattern here so you can tighten and unscrew different size bolts. And then it has a uh, screwdriver. It's for, uh, it'll fit on a flathead or a Phillips. And a uh, pry bar, nail puller. And the plan was to you know, hold it in your hand like this and put your thumb on the jimping to be able to open the bottle that way or vice versa to uh, cut a seatbelt. So we're gonna offer these in a gray finish and then a blackout finish. So those are gonna retail about 30 bucks and they'll be available in a few months. So here we got our new uh, Silent Soldier Flipper. Um, this is a uh, full tie frame lock. Um, we wanna do something a little different so we tried to make one without the hole. We've had people request it just without the hole because just wanted to try something different. It's got the uh, Hinder lock bar stabilizer, D2 tool steel. It runs on the ball bearing, ball bearing system and uh, flips really nice. I feel like it has a really nice clean look to it. So Those are uh, this is the first prototype. Those will be available in a few months as well for uh, $3.99 retail. And uh, here we have the original Silent Soldiers, which have been seen many times. So I'll go pretty quickly through those. Um, same D2 steel, uh, stainless steel liners on these, and carbon fiber scales, also on ball bearings. And here we got the new uh, VR71. Uh, this is a brand new model, it's a prototype we got ready just for the show. Uh, titanium liners, um, carbon fiber scales, D2 tool steel blade. This one has really amazing flipping action. And uh, it has a really nice aggressive blade profile on there. This one we're pretty excited about. It's the first time I made a knife with a lanyard hole on it, so keep getting requests for those. So we incorporated it in one of our newer designs. Um, here we got the uh, reloader, carbon fiber, um, also D2 tool steel, um, titanium liners, carbon fiber scales. This is a collaboration with Mikkel Williamson. We're uh, pretty much running out of these, so. This, these were released about a month or two ago and 500 piece run and we're pretty much sold out of those. So um, Here we got the T4. This is the uh, original model we did with stainless steel liners and black G10 scales, D2 blade. Uh, this one has a nice stone wash finish on it. Um, those are, we did 500 piece run and those are all sold out but we're working on the second run there. Um, here's the uh, upgraded version. This is a uh, titanium liners, carbon fiber scales, D2 blade, also on ball bearings. Um, I personally prefer this one over this one. It's very, very lightweight. Um, has a nice flipping action. Um, another difference we did, we did a hollow grind instead of the uh, flat grind on the uh, G10 version. Here we have the uh, mini divisions. Uh, we have three different kinds here, three different finishes, stainless, stone wash, and blackout. Um, we did the uh, original division and everybody really loved them. Their only complaint was that it was just a little too big, so we wanted to do something a little bit smaller. It has a three and a half inch blade, great flipping action, G10 scales, stainless liners. Uh, these are gonna be available for $2.99 retail. And these will be ready in about two weeks. And then we'll skip over to the, uh, the division flippers. These are our original ones. Um, these are a lot bigger. Um, some people just like to have something a little bit bigger in their hands, so these did really well for us. And these also have really great flicking action. Nice, smooth, all on ball bearings, titanium liners. Then we'll skip over to our uh, neck knives. We have a Ranger V2 here. Um, 
I'm not going to be making much neck knives anymore, but we're going to stick with this model here because I feel like it's a happy medium between the Warren Cliff and the Drop Point. Um, has nice jimping on there, finger guard made from D2 tool steel. Comes with a nice, nice sheath with a belt clip and uh, also a uh, ball chain. And then last we got the uh, Hawk. This is kind of a karambit style um, neck knife, um, also with a Kydex sheath made from D2. These are available in black um, and satin. So, um, yeah, these also include the belt clip and the, uh, the ball chain as well. I think that about covers it. This is uh, Jason Browse. Uh, thanks to Blade HQ for coming by and uh, checking out the booth. Uh, Shot Show 2014.